After years of drug and alcohol abuse, Cindy Valentine says she made a decision. In my last time in incarceration, I decided that I didn't want to do this life no more. So Cindy found sobriety and a home where she has stayed through this pandemic. I found Reset Ministries and they accepted me and I've been there since and my life has been reset. We shared with you just a few weeks ago how Reset Ministries, a faith-based recovery program, and many other homes for sober living and treatment are struggling in this pandemic. It's been really challenging financially. I think all of us have, have kind of pulled back the reins and so we're no different. You know, funders have, have tightened up uh, the folks that have contributed to us, uh, so we've seen an impact there. Overnight, hundreds of you responded with encouraging words and support. People built into us. We raised almost $12,000. I've heard from people from California, from Michigan. A local manufacturer wants to donate some things to us, so it has been a huge blessing for our ministry. Well, our wonderful Sinclair team let us share that story nationwide, and it shows you that we are all sharing this problem, does it not? Oh, absolutely, because it, addiction knows no boundaries, it knows no time, it, it's everywhere. And that is what this team here and other addiction specialists want us to know right now, that while we've lost more than 150,000 people to this COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic in the U.S., last year alone the CDC reported 70,000 people in the U.S. died from drug and alcohol overdoses, a number that's been climbing every year. I think it's also a, really a pandemic, really, that addiction is everywhere. And we've kind of taken our eyes off of it a little bit. Uh, but we have people coming, uh, trying to get into Reset every day because they're struggling with it. So here's the real message. Eric Schweitzer, who also has long recovered from alcohol abuse, Cindy Valentine, and many others want you to know right now. A struggle, Eric says, is always less of a struggle when you're not alone.